Yeah, you know, um, I, I'm really not going to single out any one person because it, when you look at the stats and if you watch the game, it was really, really balanced scoring, um, balanced attack. Um, I'm proud of our team, you know, down the stretch. I, I thought, you know, we had some people step up, knock down free throws when we needed them. Um, I know it wasn't pretty or a couple turnovers there or down. But for the most part, you know, Fort Wayne, uh, forces people into 20 turnovers a game, and we only had 13. And that was a big emphasis for today. And so I was just really proud of how throughout the course of the game, you know, sometimes it's easy to look back at the end and, and it drives you crazy sometimes. But throughout the course of the game, we did a great job of taking care of the basketball. They're a team that shoots a lot of threes. And I thought when we needed to defend, we did. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. No game is. But um, was just really proud of it, the team effort. And we got back to being us, pushing in transition. We had 19 assists on 13 turnover uh, in th and 13 turnovers, which is a huge number for us. And in our success, if you look back early in the season, we were really playing well. It's when we were running and pushing in transition and sharing the basketball. And, and, and that's when we're at our best. So hopefully, you know, this is a good start to getting back to that. Um, and, and we'll transition into Sunday. Hey, I he's been where your coach said 19 and 9 and assists and wounded the turnovers. Um, well, you came out of fire, especially in the first half. But I mean, this team is just like you say, there's a number of, a number of different weapons. And you can talk about how they're finding you in the first half and just expanding from there. Yeah, uh, I just try to be aggressive. Uh, I missed our last game. So, um, uh, like I said, I just try to be aggressive. Uh, they played a lot of zones, so I, I stood in the middle and just tried to find my shot. Kennedy, I'm sure this has been doing this not, not only in your, your days at George Rogers Clark, but probably since you were real young up the bar wherever you shot the free throws. Mm -hmm. How much did all that come back in a key situation? Well, uh, I think that was my job. I was put in at the end because they had the foul, and I've got to get to the line and make free throws. Kamari, okay. you've been well, near double double. I mean, you know, <laughs> Playing for some great basketball lately, so I mean, this how would you describe how unselfish this team is? We're very unselfish. We really care about each other all, on the court and off off the court. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> um, I just love this team here. Like the um, connections that we all have with each other, we all get along very well. So that carries on to the basketball court. Yeah, Cam. I know they were. On those threes, they were setting a lot of screens. It seemed like they were getting, getting them under a little bit. So did they try to make any adjustments with that? On their screens? On their yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's what they do. We we defended a couple different ways. We had practiced it a few different ways. We were switching some, switching everything. And then we were trying to get over. Sometimes we were getting through. Um, you know, we were just trying mainly to keep them off rhythm um, and not allow their offense to get comfortable in what they were doing because they, they shoot a lot of threes. And so um, just those those were the adjustments that we made. We're just kind of trying to, to mix it up on them a little bit defensively. But, um, you know, I mean, uh, down the stretch, I think at the end of the day, players have to make plays. And I, I thought our kids that were on the court at the time responded well. And um, we rebounded well, especially from the guard spot. You know, Lindsay, I think, had eight and Kamari had nine. And I thought that was huge. You know, every time I looked up, it looked like Kamari was touching the rim, getting a rebound. And, you know, that was really nice to see because I know it's something that she's really been working on. And I think over the past few games, it's really helping in her success because it's helping our team. Okay. For any of you, the crowd, how much, how much, how were they being assist tonight? At some points, we couldn't hear very well when we were in huddles. <laughs> yeah, we in. It was very yeah. piercing. <laughs> and I did, I enjoyed it. It was, it was fun to play in front of a loud crowd and the kids were having a good time, so. I want to just say a quick thank you to everybody. I mean, and I don't know if, if anybody will even see this. Hopefully they will. But um, I just thought our marketing crew, I thought our staff, you know, there were a lot of coaches up in the stands. I looked up, saw people volunteering and helping. I mean, this is a big undertaking. That was a lot of kids in here. And so I just I want to give a shout out to just the athletic department as a whole because um, it took a lot of people to put this together and, you know, kids have to get here and buses have to be parked and, you know, it's from facilities to the parking crew to 
everybody, you know, all the ushers and everybody trying to help. So um, just a huge shout out. I thought it was a great, great event and something I always look forward to because, you know, your hope is these kids come in, they see Northern Kentucky and they're like, mom, dad, you know, we want to come back. We loved it. We had a good time. And, and that's how you build a fan base. That's how you build for the future. And that's what we are consistently trying to do. And so I'm, I'm glad that we got to have that many people here. And I'm just really appreciative of everybody that had a part in putting it together. Yeah, last thing I was going to ask Cameron, they had 14 8 in second half, second chance points, not horrible, but I mean, not bad, but if the team eliminates that, how much does Scott limit? Yeah, I mean, we we have to do a good job of boxing out, but I thought we really did today. I, I know that, you know, they scored on their offensive rebounds, but our goal every game is 10 or less. And as we all remember, two games ago, we gave up 27. So I'll take 10 any day and all day as long as we come out with the win. And the last two games, we gave up six in the game – previous against Detroit and then we gave up 10 today you're going to give some up that's the way it goes teams shoot a lot of threes there's going to be long rebounds um, and, and we recognize that but um, you know I, I think that our team understands what we have to do we're a little bit undersized against a lot of the teams we play and we got to work a little bit harder on the boards um, but I, I'm proud of them and, and we've worked on it and they they showed it today in the game. Uh, just lastly, just kind of wrapping up, we're going to head to Sunday. I mean, it's, you know, huge game at Cleveland State. Yeah. All four of you are very familiar with CSU. So just what's the locker room, just the mentality right now, just going into that game, knowing kind of the past a little bit, just how to, you know, kind of make it. Yeah, I mean, I, facts are facts. Cleveland State is a very, very good basketball team. Very good. And um, they are really well coached. They play a zone defense that is really difficult to play against, and it's unique, you know, similar to what our men do. You know, it, it takes you out of your game a little bit. It, it's, it's hard to play against, and they beat us three times last year, and um, we know that. Um, so we are going to go in and prepare the same way we do for every game. You know, at this point in the year, every game is a huge game. Um, but we've got an older crew, and they recognize what's, what's coming on Sunday. And um, we are going to have to play very well. Uh, we're going to have to rebound, we're going to have to hit shots, and we're going to have to take care of the basketball. And um, obviously, we've got to defend the preseason player of the year, but it's not just about Destiny Leo. You know, they've got, they've got people stepping up at every spot this year. And it's a different team than last year. And, and I, I think no offense to last year's players or their team last year, but I think they're a better team this year. Um, but our kids just have to step on the court with confidence, and we will be prepared. We'll be ready to go. And, you know, you step on the court, and that's why we play the game. So um, it's, it's going to be a big challenge for us. And, um, but we look forward to those challenges. And, you know, I look forward to those challenges. And all of it is just to help us prepare for what we're looking toward in March and in the tournament time.